right, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday the 14th. Um, I took all of last week off, which the dates were... Hold on. I got sick last week. Uh, so I took the 5th through the 9th off. Well, really like that Friday I took off the 2nd through today. I took off from vlogging and I did get, have a diverticuli diverticulitis flare up. That is absolutely no fun. It's always no fun. You can sit out. You can go get some shoes on and wait. Can I go read my Bible? Yeah, if you want to. And, um... Yeah, and then, like, we have just been, like, jam-packed with stuff ever since we picked up my bonus son. So, you know, like, just readjusting to a new schedule and things like that. My mom's picking us up today, so we're not going to do school today. Probably we'll try to do school tomorrow and Friday, but I know I have a doctor, a dentist appointment tomorrow for a cleaning. And then I have an orthodontist appointment Friday to get my braces adjusted. So all the fun things. Right now, I'm about to film my daily devotional for TikTok. Um, this is always linked on my Amazon storefront. If you want it, you can find it there under my book recommendations. I have absolutely been loving. Oops, I have absolutely been loving doing the daily devotionals on TikTok. I feel like a lot of women are benefiting from it. I don't feel like I'm called to be a TikTok preacher. I think I'm called to be a TikTok encourager for women in today's society. Like to keep going, keep walking with God, how to walk with God, how to pray and things like that. Like I think that's my, more my speed. Like I don't feel like for one, because of my temper, my patience, and just with my mindset, like, I don't feel like I'm called to do, like, the, y'all know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this filmed, and then, um, I need to get my shoes on, the boys need to get their shoes on, they're finishing up their cereal, I need to grab me something to snap on, even though we're about to go to lunch with my mom, because I took my medicine, that, so the only way to get rid of diverticulitis, unless you want to be in pain forever, is to go to the doctor, get some antibiotics, which is, which is very bothersome to me, because I spent almost, I spent a year and three months getting my gut health in check, just for me to have to get on antibiotics and then just for it to clear out all the good bacteria that I've been growing in my gut for the last year and three months. Yep, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to filming. But anyways, I took those antibiotics and they make me sick, so I need to eat to put something on my stomach. And I'm also getting a headache. I don't I don't know why. Probably because I haven't had a soda or any kind of caffeine in a while. So let's go ahead and get this filmed for TikTok and then hopefully my mom will be here by then. Hey, I'm about to work. Quiet down. Hello everyone and good morning. It is time for our daily devotional together. Today is June 14th. The title is All of You. The scripture is Matthew 22, 34 through 38. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the, Sad the Sadducees with his reply, they met together to question him again. One of them, an expert in religious law, tried to trap him with this question. Teacher, which is the most important commandment in the law of Moses? Jesus replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The Pharisees were always trying to trip up Jesus. They wanted nothing more than to find fault with him, a reason to put him on trial or do away with him. When they asked him which of all the commandments was the greatest, they were hoping that he would somehow fail to come up with the correct answer. Instead, as usual, he got it right. And oh, how right it was. When we love the Lord our God with all our hearts, everything else falls into place. The other commandments are easy to follow. God, I know that you desire a relationship above everything else. Help me to love you and love others with all my heart. And Heavenly Father, I ask that you reveal to us today things in our heart that we are putting before you, Lord. Lord, remind us. Bring to remembrance for us, Heavenly Father, how we are able to love because you are love, Lord. Lord, I ask that you soften our hearts towards those who are lost. Lead us to lead them in love, Heavenly Father, and just grow a desire deep within us, Heavenly Father, to always desire you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Everyone have a happy Wednesday. All right, that's done. So now I'm going to go grab me something to snack on. Close these blinds. I literally only open them to do that, so... That's what we're about to do.
got my little street taco. Something smells a little bit burnt. Mom got enchiladas, and all the boys got burgers. I hope y'all can hear me. It's loud in here for a Wednesday afternoon. All right, you guys, we just finished lunch. We are walking over to Ross. It's like right next door to where we had lunch. It was really good. Okay. Well, there's fire. So we are going. Oh my gosh, what kind of bug is that? What is that? I have no idea. You need to see his mom with your heel problems. I do. Who can speak the deep voice? It's black. What if he could eat all day? One set it on Amazon that I want to get. They're a little bit than longer. I'm gonna say if they're cheaper, cheaper than seventeen ninety nine. You get two for about that price. Oh, can you send me that one. This one's pretty. Though. You can get two of those. They have some pretty pattern ones. And Emma does. Wow. Fun day for the beach or the backyard. The beach or the backyard. So these guys are not expensive. Under three years. How many years? What do you call that? I got mine. Oh, they're black and white. Oh, it's not just the one place. Oh, hey. It's a Who's letting me out my full name? It's a hit you. Why? Like, you would get out. That could be my stamp. It's no. Mommy, look at the camera. You can buy it. Ethan, what's <laughs> Well. That's our camera. Your son. That's our camera. We only got it. I want a sign like this to go above. Yeah. Where it That's beautiful. Laundry spices. Yeah. <laughs> That's free. That's definitely free. It's not free. Well, look at that. Look. What if you want to express? These are cute. Mommy, look at the shoes. What am I going to call them? Ooh. 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 to school back in, I don't sound real old, back when I was in high school, they would have straight sent me home, called my mom. What is the reasoning? Who that, who that, hoochie mama? Oh, look how pretty this is. Does that shirt say Barbie? 
It says yeah, brats. Let's get oh. it. Brats. <laughs> what? Oh, this one will be easy. Oh, yeah, that one says Barbie. I'm having this. No. It's debating between this one and this one because the green package has more ounces than this one, but these these specific times are my jam. What do you want me to look at? Which one do you want me to see? Just all of it? Oh, you like those? Mm -hmm. Ethan. What are you yelling? You don't yell across the store. No. Act like you have some sense. I know the post it. What time is it? What time? That's not what that looks like. Mama said, Mama All right, so guys, we are here at Walmart, but because of the incident last time when I was with my mom and losing my phone, I am actually going to leave my camera in the car because I don't have my camera carrying case. So I'll see you guys when we leave Walmart. All right, you guys, this battery is about to die, so let's talk about what I got from Ross. And I got a couple of things from Walmart, too. 90% of this stuff my mom bought. So we got this... Um, what is this called? Oh, a dish drying rack. She bought it, but it was a two-pack, so she was like, I don't need to. She was like, do you want one? And I was like, of course. I was just thinking last night about how I needed a drying mat, so, and it is a decent size, so that'll be good for dishes, obviously. And then she got the boys these jumbo badminton sets, which they're going to have so much fun with those once their allergies clear up and they're able to go back outside. Um, and then she bought me this table runner. I am super excited about this table runner. It's going to look so cute. So, so cute. I do not feel good, y'all. Oh, and then she also bought me this measuring cup. I told her I needed a glass one, so she bought me this glass measuring cup. Because I have a plastic one, but it's cracking and stuff. And that was everything my mom bought. So on to what I bought. I got mouthwash because this is from Walmart. Oh, maybe I should finish. Okay, these two things are from Walmart. Um, mouthwash because we were running out. And then forks and spoons because my boys just keep throwing them away. And Walmart actually has four packs of forks and spoons for $1.26. So cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And yes, I'm going to wash all of this before we use it. And then we have for the rest of the stuff from Watt Ross. I found these Rayo's um, bow tie pastas. Yes, I found two packs of those. These were $2.99 each. So I just picked those up from Ross. And then I showed you guys these. I got I got a pack for the boys, but they don't know that it's next to me. Two packs of these sour belts. So yeah, that is everything I got or we got. And then we had a good day. The lunch was great. The food was actually really, really good. I'm starting not to feel good and it sucks because I have to take my antibiotic again and I know that that's gonna make me feel even worse. So I'm gonna take my antibiotic, lay down. If I happen to feel better, I'll vlog again. But honestly, you guys, I've been fighting the feeling of feeling sick all day because I really wanted to hang out with my mom and just, yeah, I just wanted to hang out. So I was just fighting the sick feeling all day. But now that I'm home, I'm going to rest and take it easy. And yeah, I'm going to get all this stuff put up. And I'll see you guys later.
Hello, you guys. Happy Thursday. Um, I just got home from my dentist appointment and picking up the boys for my friend. We did go to story time, and I've been meaning to vlog all morning. It just it just kept getting away from me, like I couldn't pick up the camera. Got my cleaning today, and tomorrow is my adjustment for my braces. The the person who cleans my teeth and then the actual dentist was like, um, like, like they were lost for words. They were like, um, yeah, you really didn't need to come in for a cleaning today. And I was like, well, it's been a year. They were like, it's been a year. And I was like, yeah, they're like, well, just keep doing what you're doing because your teeth look great. Like they were lost for words. Um, I did tell the boys, however, I told the boys that if they cleaned the pool, I would put water in it and they could swim in it once it was filled up. So I'll see Ethan shoveling out all that dirt that they put in there. Yep, and I bet they don't make the pool mess again. This has been ultimate parenting hack. Make your kids clean up their own messes, whether it be a literal mess or just a problem in their life that they have created. Allow your kids to clean them up first. You step in at the end and help. You know what? I ain't got no more crowns on my wall. There ain't no more drinks spilled in their rooms. My table at least always looks like this because I taught my kids to clean up after themselves. I, Mama's not your maid. I'm your mama. I'm here to help you through life, not do life for you. But, yeah, I'm about to eat my lunch. I did go ahead and pick up some Burger King, and then I told the boys their treat for after cleaning the pool and also for being good for my friend. I got them some ice cream cones. So, yeah, I always tell my boys, like, good behavior gets rewarded, not bad behavior. So we're getting better at that. So. And then tomorrow we will also be going to the skate ranch, but I'm about to eat my lunch, go out here and sweep the pool for the boys, and um, then we'll start putting water in it. But I think I'm going to sweep it before I go outside to, uh, before, I'm going to sweep the pool before I eat my lunch. But um, I need to switch out these batteries, so let me go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright you guys, 30 minutes later, we have the pool filling up. I moved it back some, just, there's a hole. There's a hole. Y'all see that water? There's water leaking out right there. That water leaking out right there. There's a big old hole somewhere. I'm over it, but I am going to just keep filling it up until we have the money to buy a new pool. So they'll be happy with it. It's not leaking out fast enough to where it doesn't fill up, but it is leaking. I, I patched up as much as I could. I'm, I'm over it, honestly. That's on them. That's on the kids. They don't like to take care of stuff. That's on them. Good morning, you guys. Today is Wednesday the 16th. Um, I canceled all my appointments I had today. My dentist appointment, King Speech Therapy, because I didn't want to drive to my dentist appointment because Brian went to work at 5 o'clock this morning, and I just, I just wasn't doing it, couldn't do it. So me and the boys are getting the house in tip-top shape. I slept till 10 o'clock today. I needed that because it just so happens just about every single bad side effect that you could get from taking Flagyl, which is the antibiotic that they put me on for my diverticulitis, I happen to get somebody spilled juice. I happen to get. And so, like, I got the stiff neck, sensitivity to light, headaches body aches and um camera just said something weird but i got the headaches the body aches hold on i was getting nauseous i was actually vomiting for a minute uh i was lightheadedness like trouble sleeping like i had all the things and so i definitely like i just cried to brian last night and i was like i'm tired of being in pain like i'm tired of hurting and i was just crying so before he left to work this morning he actually prayed for me so there was a few more holes that i found in the boys pool after I put water in it, of course, as always, that's what happens. So I'm going to go patch up the couple more holes that I found and then fill the pool up again. And I mean, I'm sure we're just going to keep finding holes, but um, we do have something fun planned today. You guys will see it when we get there. I don't want the boys to know, but we're going to walk there. It's a place that we walked to last month to have fun. And it starts in about two hours, so I am going to uh, fix the pool before it gets way too hot outside. And then um, fix the pool before it gets too hot outside. Eat me something small for breakfast. I'll probably just eat me some toast with butter. Um, 
and some fruit. Yeah, I'd probably eat like an apple or an orange with some toast and butter and drink me some um, water. I try to drink one whole cup of water before I drink anything else. Or if I do drink something else, like I try to drink a whole cup of water immediately after I drink that. So, let's go ahead and get out and try to repair this pool before it gets too hot outside. And start filling it up so that by the time we get back from our other fun thing, the boys can nap. And when they wake up, the pool will be full. So, let's go. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself. Can't even be your own friend. Cause you're way too stuck in your head. How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do. Nothing that they could say. The only reason I hate these pools is because you can see the holes when the water's in there. And then the second the water comes out, you cannot find the holes. So I'm hoping the ones that I did patch up are the ones that I saw yesterday. And if not, we got this much tape left. This is actually Gorilla Glue, like, it's meant to fix pools. And so far, it's done good on the holes that we do find. Before somebody's like, why not just get a new pool? I would rather spend time patching and taping and patching and taping something that we have to make it work for a while before I go out and spend money that we don't have. And so hopefully, hopefully it does a good enough job to hold the, the water for a few days, a few days because filling it up every day, I say it lasted in here about a good, I would say it got done filling up at about 7 p.m. last night. It was all drained. By the time it was probably like eight, nine p, eight, not eight or nine a.m. So that's how long it held the water for. So if could just hold it for a full twenty-four hours, I'd be happy. All right, you guys, we are currently walking to go turn, skate Ethan. Ramp. Yes, we are currently walking to the skate ramp. Um, I think we're gonna walk in front of these buildings just because I don't want to walk in the street. So we're gonna walk through these buildings right here. But yeah, we are currently on our journey. Oh, our yard needs to be done so bad. The Optimus inside. The pool will be filling up while we're at the skate ramp. So it's been so far. It's been an all right day. We're late. Go that way. Because we had to 
get the house and order some more before we took off. And then I ended up eating noodles and drinking some water before we came over here. So, yep, I'm just Stop. walking now. Stop, you ate noodles for breakfast? Yep. Yes. All right, you guys, we are here. We're all getting our skates on. I'll show you guys once we're skating. <laughs> 